Good morning, everybody. I'm Cole Thranstad. A North Central Montana school district is celebrating the district's child care program this morning. The celebration coincides with National Lights on After School Week, meant to highlight the importance of after school programs. Here's MTN's Ryan Berg. I'm here at Jefferson Elementary School where Governor Greg Gianforte highlights the importance of these after school programs to Montana communities. The SAC program is celebrating its 30th anniversary for caring for children after school hours and helping with parents balance work and home life. This after school program here at Jefferson Elementary is really critical to help working families. Kiddos need a safe place to go and it's been operating now for 30 years. Uh, kids stay here after school until their parents can pick them up at 6 p.m. and uh, it allows people to stay in the workforce and make sure our kids are taken care of. The SAC program offers positive activities to the children like crafts, games, music, play, and time to finish schoolwork or reading. The SAC program isn't only for after school hours. The program is there all around the school year. And so it gives up, uh, families the opportunity to um, have their kids in a safe spot, um, not going home and being a latchkey kid. Um, and part of what we're celebrating this week as well is lights on for after school, just meaning that there's a safe place for kids to come in the afternoon. The 30th celebration of the SAC program was specifically scheduled during lights on after school week, a week dedicated to emphasizing the importance of quality after school programs. Very important for the Helena community because uh, there aren't a lot of options for after school or out of school time for families. And so uh, we run after school, before school, and then during uh, school outbreaks. So the October conference day is coming up and then winter break and spring break and then summer as well. The school age child care program currently serves more than 350 students at the 11 elementary schools in the district. In Helena, Ryan Berg, MTN News.